Students, we're going to be doing um, a couple problems together. This is the teacher summary for le Unit 4, Lesson 8, Introduction to Sokotoa. As in you learned in your preview note, Sokotoa are simply ratios of sides and angles that are unique to right triangles. Sides and angles that are unique to right triangles. Keep this acronym in mind, Sokotoa. So means sine is opposite over hypo. Ka means cosine is adjacent over hypo. And toa means tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent. We're just going to do a couple problems together. First, there's two skills that you really need to master when you're dealing with trigonometry. One is finding a trig ratio. Two is using a trig ratio to find distances. To find trig ratios, I'm going to give you an example here. We're going to find these four trig ratios using Sokotoa. So first we're going to work with the, the angle A. So because we're working with angle A, I'm going to sweep angle A. And as I sweep angle A, I'm going to label the opposite and the adjacent and the hypo according to that angle A. So if that's angle A, that would make 16 the opposite. That would make 12 the adjacent. And that would make 20 the hypo, which is always across from the right angle. So tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So my opposite side here is going to be 16. And my adjacent side is going to be 12. And from here, you just get your calculator and get your decimal. It's going to be 16 divided by 12. And you take it to the fourth decimal place, which is 1.3 repeating. Still using angle A. Notice we're still on angle A. So my opposite adjacent and hypo remains the same. Now I'm going to do sine. Sine is opposite. So in this case, our opposite is still 16. But now we're going to go over the hypo, which in this case is 20. So the sine ratio of angle A is simply 16 divided by 20, which is 0 0.800. Now careful, because the next two ratios, we're switching now to angle B. Angle B, and as you switch angles, it also switches the labels of your side. Watch carefully. So. Whoops, that's angle C, not B. Now we're going to go angle C. When you have angle C, 12 is now your opposite. And 16 is now your adjacent side. 20 is still the hypo. So now to do the cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypo, so our adjacent side is now 16, and our hypo is still 20. So now we do 16 divided by 20, and we already did that, and it's 0 0.8. So look very carefully. The sine of angle A and the cosine of angle C are the same thing. Now, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And we're doing tangent of angle C. So our opposite now is 12. Our adjacent is 16. So we divide 12 divided by 16. We get 0 0.75. So that's how you find trig ratios if you have sides. You simply follow Sokotoa. You divide. You get your decimal. Take it to the fourth. Notice your opposite and adjacent can change depending on where your angle is. So be careful with that. Now we're going to utilize one of these ratios here. We're going to use trig ratios to find 
the lengths. First, we're going to start by sweeping the angle that we're working with, which is 32. Now, from here, we label the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypo. So this side is the opposite side from 32. That makes 15 the adjacent side. And the side that's across from the right angle is always the hypo. So now we've labeled it opposite, adjacent, and hypo. Now using this, we work ourselves through have, need, do. We have the adjacent side, so I put an A for adjacent. We want the hypo side, so we put H for hypo. So look very carefully, we have an AH combination, we have an adjacent and a hypo combination. So you look on your trig reference card and you figure out what goes with AH. And AH goes with cosine. So we're going to write exactly this equation under our do. So we write cosine of our angle that we're working with, cosine theta over 1, equals, watch carefully, it's always going to be adjacent over hypo. So it's adjacent over hypo. That is our ratio. You always write, write the ratio first. Now we're going to do circle plug chug. So we write cosine theta 32, so I'm going to write this out, cosine of 32 degrees, put parentheses around that, over 1, equals our adjacent, circle it, physically pick it up, 15, over hypo, circle it, physically pick it up, y. Make sure you have parentheses around that cosine 32. Now, do not touch that calculator until you isolate Y. Do not touch that calculator until you isolate Y. Y is not isolated right now. Don't touch the calculator. First thing we do is we cross multiply. I'm going to bring that over here. So we end up with cosine 32 parentheses times Y equals 15. Why 15? Because it's 15 times 1. Now, we're going to divide both sides by cosine 32. Why? Because we want to get that y by itself. Notice I keep parentheses around that. So now, to get y, it's going to equal 15 divided by the cosine of 32 degrees. To get the cosine of 32 degrees, I do 32 cosine in my calculator or cosine 32, depending on your calculator. I get 0 0.8480. So it's going to be 15 divided by 0 0.8480. Final answer, 15 divided by 0 0.8480, and I get 17, rounded to the tens place, 0.7 is your final answer.